Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, September 7, 2010. This morning I wanted to take a look at HTTP access in VisualWorks 771 and for that matter Object Studio 8.2.1. There have been a lot of improvements in this since the last time I did a screencast on this topic. Earlier you had to go through hoops to get authentication working and to use HTTPS instead of HTTP you had to use a different class. It's all been cleaned up now. So for instance, if I just want to do a standard query here, I'm getting the RSS feed off my blog. I'm going to get the response by doing an HTTP client get off the URL, and then I'm just going to ask for the content. So I do this and ask for the contents from the response, and I'll get something that looks like this. Now if I want to see what the response itself looked like, if that was something I was interested in for other purposes, I can have the whole response object. So I can see that it's a 200, I can look at the header, I can look at the individual fields in the header if I want to jump in, I can look at the status line. So I have access to everything in here, or obviously just the content. Now authentication used to be a little more dicey, but now using either NTLM or Digest or Basic Auth, and I believe engineering is working on OAuth for the next release, so that'll be coming too, but right now you can do Digest, Basic, and NTLM. It works kind of like this. You do an HTTP client new, you hand it a username and password, and then you do a get off of that, and it'll all just work. So I'll do this. This is a feed which, and just to show you that I'm not doing anything funky, let's just try this without all of that stuff. I'll come up here and I'll type HTTP client, if I could type, client get colon, and we'll put that in. Now let's see what that does first. I should get a 401 off this. And sure enough, I got a 401, unauthorized because I didn't hand it the information. But now let's hand it the username and password and do the get with that in mind and see what we get. So we'll do an inspect. And sure enough, it comes back pretty fast. So I've got my information right there. And now finally, if you want to do SSL, so let me pull this up so you can see that. I'm doing an HTTP client get using HTTPS off my Twitter feed, and then I'm going to get the content. Now you're going to see a couple of exceptions come up here because I'm not storing the registration certificate that comes back, so I'm just going to proceed past those to show you that everything works. So we're going to come up here and say, I don't care, and again, I don't care to save it. What you would really do in an application is do something about these exceptions, catch them and handle them, probably by saving the certificate so that you could compare it later. But in terms of just showing you that it works, here's my Twitter feed. So you get everything coming down, and it all just works. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.